test the convergence of the series 1 by 3 power p plus 1 by 5 power p plus 1 by 7 power p. Now when I look out this series, I can frame the general form as 1 by 2n plus 1 to the power p. So when this becomes the general form, un is equal to 1 by 2n plus 1 to the power p. Now in this, I am going to take n power p commonly outside. So when I take n power p commonly outside, I will get 2 plus 1 by n to the power p. So now, I consider my Vn is equal to 1 by n power p. Now as for the comparison test, we have to find limit n tends to infinity of un by Vn. So I am going to find limit n tends to infinity of un by Vn which is equal to so when I take this, this is my un, this is my vn. So I will take this as 1 by n power p into 2 plus 1 by n to the power p divided by 1 by n power p. So my 1 by n power p, n power p will get cancelled and I will get 1 by 2 plus 1 by n the whole power p. Again here, limit n tends to infinity, limit n tends to infinity. So when I substitute, I will get this as 1 by 2 power p. So this 1 by 2 power p is finite and non-zero. So when this is finite and non-zero, my un and vn converge or diverge together. To check out whether this converge or diverge together, we go for p-series test. So when I go for my p-series test, I should consider my uh, Vn. So this is summation n, tends to, n tending to 1 to infinity Vn is equal to 1 by n power p. So now for this p, I have two possibilities. It might be greater than 1 or it might be lesser than or equal to 1. So if my p is greater than 1, summation Vn is convergent. Summation Vn is summation vn is convergent. So when I say summation vn is convergent, it means that summation un is also convergent. Since we say that both converge and diverge together. If p is less than or equal to 1, my summation vn is divergent. So when I say that it is divergent, it implies that my summation un is divergent. So here we come across two possibilities. P is less than 1 and P is, I mean P is greater than 1. P is less than or equal to 1.